Welcome to Dunster. Village. Village. <laughs> Carrying on from yesterday's video. Yes. So we're just going to take a look round. Church. <laughs> that was ironic. What timing, eh? <laughs> what timing? So we're starting this video outside the church. Um, we're not going in it or anything. We just wanted to show you oh, the church. Did you want to go in? No. No, not really. Um, oh, nice house behind there. That's cute. If we see anything in the village worth filming, we are going to. There's supposed to be a 17th century house, which looks pretty cool. National Trust, yeah. I think it is. Okay. So we'll take a look at that. And just have a little leisurely walk. There is a museum, but I don't know if I'm up for that. We'll see when we get I'll there. be honest. I did read it had a lovely doll collection, and that took... That grabbed doll. me. Yeah. Yeah, we won't be doing the <laughs> museum. <laughs> Let's go see what's around. Just popped in the church and it's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely. Lovely, yes. rude screen. I don't think yeah. that's that old. I don't know, it might be old. I'd say. Um, yeah, it could be old. The lighting round here looks nice as well. Lovely wooden ceiling. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Lovely old chest there from about 1422. What a beauty. How can you say that? It's creepy. Listen. It is beautiful. Yeah. What a tomb. I think I'll have something similar to that when I go, Mazzy. What, something as grand? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the carvings on this there. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Look at that. An even older chest there. 1135. Wow. Very strange place for a bird table. A very nice bird table. Oh no, it's not a bird table, is it? Oh, it's where Bible thing goes. Another tomb down there, look. I wish I'd have looked this place up now. Got a knight one here. Oh, and his missus. Absolutely beautiful. Is there any signs in there, Mazzy, about this dude and his wife? There's a sign. <laughs> a lot of writing. It's going on about the chantry. Um, blah de blah, blah de blah, blah blah blah. Yeah, you read it if you're interested. Yeah, it's a beautiful tiled floor in here. Don't know how old that is. Yeah, wasn't expecting this at all. Do you know the rood screen down there, which I says I don't know if it's very old or not? I'd say it is. It's 520 years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's have a look at the font. How old are you? Again, 15, early 1500s. And look at the beautiful wooden top. This place is spectacular. So a beautiful church. I've never seen as many collection tins and boxes yeah. um, in my life. Yeah, it was a lot. <laughs> they even had a little, there was a, on the wall it was just like a tiny little curtain. Yeah. Which obviously everyone's going to pull the curtain back to see what's behind it. Donation collection box. box. Yeah. <laughs> I do love this though, it's kind of built onto it isn't it? Um, this is cute. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's where the priest would have lived. It's beautiful. Cobbles. What is it? I don't know, but it's full of like wedding things inside. Um, if it's to do with that look, the Dunster Tithe Barn, I don't know if we're going to pass that, we might do one as we walk around, but it's a wedding venue. And just up there was a bridal shop. It's a very wedding-y type of place. It's funny you've noticed these today and not me. The old nunnery. Look at the wood under there. This building is incredible, the tiling on it. Fantastic. This is the kind of village we're in, look. It's so good. All these lovely little, uh, little quirky little shops. Now you don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> Just gives it, adds to the atmosphere around here. Did you see the hair on that farmer then? Yeah. Did you see it, Mazzy? It looked yeah. like a sheep. 
I thought it was a bale of his hay come off the back and landed on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna pop into the deli. Get a pie. See what they got really, anything like a sandwich local? or something for you. Yeah. Wow, what an array. There's <laughs> no sandwiches, love. Oh, isn't there? Um, it's all kind of local stuff. Local beers, local jams. Oh, made ones. Scotch eggs. Scotch eggs, yes. Nothing there for me then. Doesn't look like it unless you fancy quiche. This bottle of water for me. Let's see what Dan's got. It's a chicken and chorizo pasty. Oh, chorizo. Oh, wow. Let's have a look then. Is it hot? You got a hot one? Yep. Got to rip it up. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> it smells nice. <laughs> it's beautiful, Mazzy. It looks homemade -y. They are. Everything in there is proper homemade. Yeah. All the sausage rolls and uh, scotch eggs and quiches and stuff. Tastes nice? Amazing. It's just a bit too hot to eat at the moment. <laughs> That's what you get inside, look. Come on then, let's go look at some dollies. Yay! Dunster Museum and doll collection. And it's free. That's really nice. That's the Dunster Yarn Market just over the road, made out of matchsticks. matchsticks. Yeah. We haven't been there yet, we'll go there next. I'm not sure if this is part of the collection or it's saying dolls for sale. I can actually buy a dolly, babe. Oh, look, can't leave her there for a pound. Bet you can. Oh, Gary's looking at books again. Some good books here, look at this one. English cottages and farmhouses. Oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? It does, I bet this is just full of beautiful pictures. I bet it is. You're not having that either. Check it out. Oh, that one looks exact same. It's nearly the same as mine. Yeah, the ones that Kate and Kev just knitted for us. <laughs> Yeah, this is a doll collection. Yeah, this is a doll collection. I'm just going to show them these cute little um, dolls' houses. Now, I've got a thing for these, this kind of thing. Look at the music. Oh, that's like my dad's bedroom. <laughs> what else do we have? Oh, I do have a thing for little things. Dolls could be so ugly. Yeah. Check Henrietta out. Oh, gosh, yeah. She's, she's well ugly. She's having a bad day, isn't she? Check this one out. <laughs> and this one, this is the ugliest. It looks like a monkey. <laughs> These ones are looking very old. Porcelain heads, I'm guessing. Yeah. My nan collects dolls, you know. She? Yeah, she's got a lot of them. I do love, love the old prams. Here's the plague one. Oh, there's the plague. We 17th just saw a picture. Seventeenth century. Wow. That's from about 1656. That is incredible. No, it wasn't. It was made in the 1950s, based oh. on a design from back then. I do wonder what the doll collection has to do with the town, so to say. If you know what I mean. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Yeah, the museum itself is quite beautiful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the building. I was just looking at the little old lady living in a shoe down there. I think we'll get a better picture of her. Punch and Judy. Oh yes, I do love these ones. Oh yeah, they're really good, aren't they? All the puppets. Seven dwarves. Oh yes. 75 year old Rupert. Oh, he's cute. Oh, Rosie Jim. <laughs> That's cute. <coughs> I know you're looking at that one. It looks like it's made out of sponge or something. It some is sort. made out of rubber, and I remember. I think I had something like yeah. that. Yeah. I think mine was a little someone's head, and you put your fingers in the back and scrunched it. <laughs> no, you're talking about the little rubber mask things. I know what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, but we're made about. out of the same stuff. So outside, this is what was made out of matchsticks in the museum. Um, the yarn. Don't know what it is. Y mill. The yarn mill, is it? It's English heritage. Dunster Yarn Market. 
the Iron Market. Now that picture's from 1821 and it hasn't changed at all. Check out the amazing ceiling, look at that. It's fantastic, it was built in 1609, if you're interested. And it's where they used to sell cloth, stuff like that. A little market, market bit. There's something for everyone in this village. I think that's pretty much the end of it for us. But what a place. You can easily spend a full day here, couldn't you? Yeah, the little, the little cobbly streets and the little old houses. It's just so, so long. So quirky. Just down the road from Minehead. So I was last clip from in Dunster. Absolutely stunning house. Just on the way up, back to the castle, back to the car park, and on to the next. So that was Dunstan. Dunstan, amazing place. Loads to offer for you free. Have to go. You have to go. Yeah. We and we didn't buy anything apart from a pasta. Pass it in a bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> Feel a bit bad. <laughs> but you know we paid for his national trust and everything. Yes. So. Get yourself there. Anyway, we're going to move on and try and find our wild camping spot for tonight. Yes, I've got somewhere in mind. I can't tell you where it is, how to get there, because I've got no signal. <laughs> and we need a signal to upload a video. We're going to have to in trouble again, aren't we? Well, we no, 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 no. We don't want to repeat of yesterday. We're going to stay positive. This day is going to end well. 29 minutes, Mazza. Yep. Let's do this. Let's do this. Right, we just came out of a little village. It was absolutely beautiful, but very, very narrow. And then it came to a fork. And I says, we're not going to get up there. We can't go into the way. So skinny. And Mazza just saw a little sign. Yards. Turn left to stay on your road. It says, take this road if you want. We'll all charge you £1.50. So we've taken this road. No. <laughs> and it does seem better. Take the next the other road wasn't recommended for caravans and motorhomes. But we now have this herping. Oh yeah. It's not the worst we've done. Oh well. Only just made it in one go. Yay, well done you. <laughs> that might be the worst we've done. Continue on new road for three miles. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, I'm getting a bit fed up of these roads now. It's reminding it's me of Cornish roads and it's very hard to drive. stressful, isn't it? It is stressful, yeah. yeah. And dangerous. Not sure how we can pay for this yet, so I've gone through the little copper jar, pulled out all my little tiddly wings, my five peas. But if I am able to, this is what they're getting. You're giving them it then. <laughs> no way, am I giving them a power? It might be something where you just chuck no, it in a bucket. It's a woman here. I'm not oh, it's a her woman. All that. We're in a queue, babe. Are we? Yeah. Well, they're back, surely. Are they parked? Parked. <laughs> Got a ticket. Well, we couldn't get rid of that, I can tell you now. We couldn't get rid of that. How much? <laughs> Five pounds? Five pounds? I Oh, it was £1.50. I thought it said £1.50. I think we're just being robbed, Mazza. Yeah, but we got a ticket, so... The man stood there with a big grin on his face, no wonder. Yeah. £5. £5, Mazza. <laughs> How much? £5. Could have got a campsite for that. It's no wonder the sign at the start of it recommended we come up this way. Yeah, <laughs> Mugs Road. I'll tell you what, it's, it's not much better than the Balak and the Bar in Scotland. Yeah. Really windy, hairpins, long. I tried to think what the other one, the normal road was like. I'll tell you what, we're high up. We are high up. My ears are gone weird. This toll road has gone on for about five miles, it feels like. Has it taken its toll? Ah, <laughs> go on. Just approaching our night stop. Well, we think it's going to be a night stop. Depends if we have a signal. And if we can get a stray bit, because it looks quite lean, eh? It does look lovely, though. The journey was worth it. You have arrived. 
Just gonna make a quick coffee. It looks like we're not actually gonna be stopping, but we will get out and show you the views and it is absolutely lovely up here, so I'm gonna have my lunch. That is one thing we've noticed it about this whole entire area of the map, isn't it? It's rubbish. Like down in Devon Way, wherever we are, it's the, the signal, signal on three, mobile three, is absolutely atrocious. But look at the view you got. I don't care. <laughs> so this is the potential spot. I'll give it one thing, it is a very, very nice spot. You're not worried about internet or anything like that. Absolutely wonderful. Enough room for quite a lot of fans and cars. I mean, it's actually kind of like a nature reserve park walk place just there. But yeah, we're going to be moving on. Moving on to the next one. The next one says 4G is a lot better at this one, doesn't it? I suppose it depends what network you're on, but someone said it's good 4G there. Yeah. And it's only five miles away. 13 minute drive. I'm just a bit worried it's going to be very narrow road going there, so... So that one's out the window. We were supposed to be going down a road down there. Not suitable for light vehicles and the road was only fit for a bicycle, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the views! It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking let's head for that town over there. Caravans turn left at the bridge. Oh, look at the town. Caravans or does that include us? Oh, this is nice, isn't it? All caravans. Check the other side of the van. No, no internet. You've guessed it. We're moving on. Yeah, we didn't have a good enough internet signal. <laughs> uh, attempt number three. Let's go try and find another one. No, I just can't see us getting any signal. Where uh, Dan looked on like the free map earlier to where what the signal was, and out of. The whole entire of the UK, there's one massive white patch where there's no signal and we're in it. Yes, but we're coming to the <laughs> end of it, Mazzy. And I just read, I know it's O2, is it on a different network. Some dude said he had a fantastic 4G sing signal and he watched the England semi final there. So, right. got to be worth a go. I wouldn't mind that. That, that spot just now was my favourite. Yeah, but I think that's private land. I think that's just it's part of the farm. Right, but. You're not going to do it. Careful, don't go into the back of him. Oh Let's my god, we cannot get up this hill. I'm panicking. It's a tight hairpin. Just drive over there, let him go first. We've not had that before, Mazzy. No. Have we got our tuning box on a certain number that we should have it on? We could do with it being on iron now, yeah. Yeah. A hotel lunch. Should we do a hotel tonight? Continue on 839. <laughs> These, this is getting quite stressful. The beggar's route. At least we're on the 39 now, which is the equivalent of a Devon motorway. Well, Mazza, yep. this is where I'm bringing you to stay tonight. Uh -huh. Your little restaurant, your little uh, paradise. 
There's a few here. You have arrived. I'm not taking my seatbelt off until you check your signal. Mm. Well, it's looking better than last place. Could be fake though, let me just check. Yeah, I must admit, it is a nice view. Straight down to the sea. Ready for inspection. Mazzy, so this is I can play way. a YouTube video. That's got to be good. It's saying 3G full bar. It could be good. It could be good. Let's try and upload that video. And if we can upload that video, we can stay here for the night. Beautiful, isn't it? Internet. Don't you just love it? Tough day. This living on the wild side is a bit exhausting. <laughs> Oh, I thought there were a mark on camera, it's somewhere behind me here. Um, yeah, that was very, very difficult today with yes. the roads. Yeah. That's the first time I've ever had a tyre skid in this motorhome. Yeah, getting up. Up a hill yeah. like that, going down, <laughs> round an air pin. And if we wasn't going up, we were going down like that, and all our gauges were just going totally crazy. At one point, we had no petrol, we had a warning light. Next thing, we had 127 more miles left in the tank. That's how crazy everything was going. Brake fluid said, do not continue. continue. We had no brake fluid. It was a nightmare. Windy roads, only thick enough for one vehicle yeah. or two minis. And they're flying round them. Yeah. It's like, I know you understand, they must understand the roads, but do they really have to go that fast? <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> we think the motorhome suffered with that one. Yes. She said she saw a big puff of smoke come out of the Loaded. back of it near the end. Yeah. I think it really struggled. So we're going to mm. put the tuner on to full now. Yeah, definitely. Until yeah. we get into some proper area. Um, but yeah, it's again an adventurous day. I've enjoyed yeah. it. You know, yeah. as as scary as it was at points, we've still had another good day, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Getting out and about today, like we haven't done that for such a long time. And that was really good. And we are actually wild camping. Yeah. yeah. Overlooking the sea. What more could you want? Mm -hmm. So we'll see you all bright and early tomorrow for another adventure. We're at, we, we're near Barnstable now. Okay. So where we we might be there tomorrow, we don't know. Well, uh, you'll have to come back to find out. So say goodbye, Mazzy. Goodbye, goodbye. See you later. It's lovely to see you.